What are cells? Cells are the basic units of structure and function in a living thing. The bodies of all living things are made up of cells, including nerve and skin cells. Living things are also called organisms and can be made up of one cell or trillions of cells. People did not know cells existed because cells were microscopic, or not visible without a microscope. Scientists developed the cell theory that states, all living things are made of cells. All life processes take place in cells. And new cells come from existing cells. Robert Hooke was the first person to study cells using a microscope. What parts do cells have? Plants. And animals. Are made of cells. But they need different cell parts to stay alive. Nucleus. The nucleus makes more cells. Produces energy takes in materials, and gets rid of wastes. Cell membranes. Cell membranes control what enters and leaves the cell. Mitochondria. Mitochondria release energy that the cells use to do their jobs. Cytoplasm. The jelly-like cytoplasm gives the cell shape and holds the cell parts together. Cell wall. The cell wall protects plant cells and helps the plant keep its shape. Chloroplast. The chloroplast uses the sun's energy to make sugar to feed the plant. Vacuole. The vacuole in a plant cell stores water, nutrients, and waste. In animal cells, the vacuole is much smaller. Cells divide and multiply. Cell division makes two cells from one. Cells divide for two reasons, to grow and reproduce. As cell division occurs, the organism grows. When organisms reproduce, they make egg and sperm cells through cell division. Chromosomes are structures in the cell's nucleus made of DNA. DNA is made of sections called genes. Genes control an organism's characteristics. An organism's characteristics, such as height or eye color, come from the parent cells when they reproduce. How cells divide. Mitosis is a six-step process that allows the organism to grow. Each chromosome is copied before the cell divides. Copies of each chromosome are joined. The duplicated chromosomes move to the middle of the cell. Mitosis is a six-step process that allows the organism to grow. Each chromosome is copied before the cell divides. Copies of each chromosome are joined. The duplicated chromosomes move to the middle of the cell. Meiosis forms eggs and sperms, which have half as many chromosomes as body cells. Egg and sperm cells join to form a new single cell during sexual reproduction. The single cell divides by mitosis and grows into a new individual. Where do traits come from? Inherited traits are characteristics passed from parents to their offspring. Examples of these characteristics might include eye color, hair color, freckles, and face shape in humans, and fur color and texture in animals. Meiosis causes genetic differences since an organism receives only half of its genes from each parent. This results in genetic differences between parents and offspring. Dominant and recessive traits. In the 1800s, Gregor Mendel observed height differences in pea plants. Mendel investigated how the height trait was passed on from parent plants. Mendel hypothesized that traits in organisms are controlled by a pair of factors and each parent passes on one factor. In the pea plants, tallness was a strong or dominant trait. Shortness was a weak or recessive trait. 